assignment. In this assignment, we are going to be taking um, basically there's a, there's a, another folder within the videos, and it has a lot of tattoo flash. This bird started out to be you know tattoo flash. I used to be a tattoo artist for like eight years before I actually got into graphic design and 3D modeling and all that good stuff. So I had a lot of flash laying around. I figured I utilize it in some manner and it turns out to be great, you know, a great source tool for uh especially graphic design. Especially with the ripping down color. So take these, take the flash, open it, you could choose any flash picture you want and color separate it and you're only allowed two colors. Okay? When you are done, display it in two different fashions. I want your PDF saved in that well organized place that I have you know if I look at this take for the example um, I have it on another computer let's pretend that this is our server right here it's called print but we all know this to be tarot server and under there I have advanced graphics and this is going to be saved under the 02 three three illustrator directory which I gotta put out there yet and it's gonna be first name then last name then sep I want it that way as a PDF you know that one I just showed you in the last video that one that has two pages that's what I want I also want uh, a preview of this side by side Okay, and here's how you do that. I want to take and export this as a JPEG onto my desktop. Call this one step. Then I also have my Bluebird image to begin with. So that's going to be somewhere. And I open up a new document in Photoshop, US paper, 8.5 by 11, 300 dots per inch is fine. And I actually want this uh, 8.5 and this one 11. Maybe I'll rip this down to 100. RGB color for the internet. And here we go. So here I want to also open this okay and I'm going to take its layers under layers I'm going to float all my windows float all in windows that way I could take this layer and move it off to this document Okay, I'm going to shrink that a little bit by using the show transformation controls. This is all very introductory stuff, so you should know this by now, but I'm just still walking you through it. Let's open up the bird. And that's going to be under my print server. Okay, I got the bird. Again, it loves to do this whole floating in windows things. I, I like to float all in windows myself, but that's just me. Uh, if you get confused over, you know, how to float or how to unfloat, you can just click and drag one out too. That's a, another way to do it. But I really despise the float or the tabular window format that the CS4 actually presents. It makes it harder to transfer layers back and forth, I think. So here, 
I got this one. So you know everything in my class must be proven, right? That way if I show somebody else, they actually know what the point of the lesson was. And label this like two color separation and put your name at the bottom using the text tool. Okay, you guys should know how to do that. So I'm going to leave it up to you. This, we're going to, at the end, save it for the internet. So save for web devices. With your name at the bottom and it says two color separation go ahead and save this as a JPEG and upload it to your gallery. All right, that is your assignment. Enjoy. Hey, don't forget your AI file too. Don't forget, you gotta save that within the other folder. And I want that, to sh the, the PDF thing, I want that. Save it all, I want everything. Save it with your first name, last name. All right, have a good one, and until next lesson.